How does it feel, Sammy? After all the hard work since January 5th, how does it feel to sit here February 16th and be the winner of this game? Oh, amazing. I'm honestly shocked and I'm so thankful that you guys voted for me because I was definitely humbled listening to what y'all had to say. And I'd like to apologize if I ever came across as cocky because I definitely didn't intend to. You cocky bitch. <laughs> I definitely uh, learned a lot about myself as a player just from this experience and it's been amazing. Sandy, thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much to everybody else for being in this cast and making this game what it was. It was honestly the org experience of a lifetime. As cheesy as that sounds, it's true. I had a blast, and yeah, I just had a great time. Now, before we get to the reunion and stuff, there's just we need to make it official. So, <laughs> I need to bring on stage with me a good friend. His name is <laughs> Meow. I mean, Animal. <laughs> <laughs> Please um, welcome our current reigning champion, Animal, to the stage as he passes off his Thank crown you. to Samantha. So from winner to winner, um, Animal, do you have anything to say to Samantha before um, she takes your crown? Um, let me let me throw a question to, but to start this reunion off to um the runner up Aaron. Now that the game is over, a big sigh of relief for you. Um, definitely. I have to finish an exam at the moment, so <laughs> I might have to leave soon. All right. Well, let me throw another question at you. Going into the final trouble council, did you expect to win, or did you going in with that final six perception that I'm not winning regardless? Sammy, you're the okay. You're the new Ice Survivor champion. You're the first female winner since the last fans versus favorites. You're probably the strongest, most dominant fan type of player we've had in, in a versus style um, Ice Survivor game. I think you're you. I, I you know, Tucker might have to correct me if I'm wrong, but. I think the female record holder for most individual immunity wins is Lori, and I, if not mistaken, I think you broke her record as well. I, from what Tucker tells me, and he is the king of I Survivor statistics, I did beat Lori's challenge record and, by one individual. And when one see one challenge individual immunity <laughs> win, and you have the longest endurance challenge with 19 hours 50 minutes, so like you're not oh. only leaving with the crown, you're leaving with all these little Girl Scout badges on your sh sh sash or whatever that shit is. So how do you feel? I mean, I'm honored, and I just can't wait to get 24th place next time I come back. <laughs> <laughs> do you, if you were to play a second or third time, do you think you'd fare well better than other winners like Alan and Eric and Jamie? Um, I, Sorry. Hi, sorry. <laughs> Um, did you try, like, adding them one one at a time, Eric? Um, well, what I told Joe is, 
to leave the chat and then I'll add him back individually. So I'm waiting for him to leave. As for Debbie, I, I don't even know what the hell's going on with that. She's already giving me an attitude, so. <laughs> She says it's not letting her add either. I said sign in and out, and if I can't fix the problem, sorry. Guess what? Season's over. My job's done. <laughs> I know. I keep saying call failed every time I try to get All right, so this has been a long game, and we have some faces here from, you know, the days of yesteryear in this game. Mr. Gabe, hey, all the way back there in the top row in the nosebleed section. <laughs> Hi, I'm I'm saying hey to you. Why is Gabe keeps jumps? I love Gabe that I love that Gabe is the youngest male in this room, yet he has the deepest voice out of everybody. Yeah, Gabe. Well, I'll come back to you, Gabe, if you can't hear me. No, I can't. Oh, you can hear me? So how are you tonight? Yeah. I'm I'm okay. You're okay. Yeah. The winner of the season just got crowned. You should be thrilled. Oh, who are you? Who are you pulling? <laughs> who are you pulling for in the final two? From be, as a viewer. Wait. Okay. Uh, uh, Sammy, but I didn't really talk to either of them because I was cheering for Chris. So. Uh, oh. As a viewer, you 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 spent this season mostly as a viewer, Gabe. What do you think of it now that it's all said and done? It was fun to watch. It was definitely a fun season to watch. It wasn't like one of those boring, like, Boston Rob predictable Redemption Island ones where you know, it's obvious who's going to... Because I'm going to be honest. When I thought that Craig and Sammy were going to be first out at Merge or whatever, and I thought, like, the final four was going to be, like, Nicole and... You said in your game, the Graham, that you thought I'd be first out. Oh, I did? Oh. Yeah, you're like, hey. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, I, I thought, this is your I thought time. it was going to be... <laughs> Sammy, you already won the season. Stop stealing the rest of the people's spotlight. God. Yeah, he's got more time in the reunion than he did in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually nicer than Jeff Probst. I'm actually letting him finish his answer and stuff. <laughs> I thought Chris and Cody were going to be the final two. Just the opposite. Oh, we should have been. We would have been a... Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, Gabe, how does it feel to be part of the Ice Survivor family, and do you think you'll ever get to play Ice Survivor again? Mm, probably. If, if, you might put me on one of those... All right, you might put me on one of those, like, loser tribes that lose every single time. Bye, Aaron. Uh, congrats. But, uh, not anything else besides one of the loser tribes. All right, another face who is out relatively early that I'm looking at. Jose! Yes, I'm here. Hey, how are you? <laughs> um, a little under the weather, but I'm doing okay. I know you're vomiting to see that somebody from Yubu who voted you out ended up winning the game, right? <laughs> um, if you had asked me that a, a few weeks ago, I probably would have said yes. But no, honestly, I think, um, I think Sammy, you know, she, she's a great player. She's a great person. So yeah, I'm really, I'm, I'm actually really happy to see her win. She's, she's awesome. What was it like being out of the game early and you know dealing with that, and then watching Yubu, a, lose some more, and you know once the merge hit, did you expect I don't know Craig and Sammy to make it as far as they did? I was just um, saying, like, were you were you shocked to see Sammy and Craig make it as far as they did? And were you shocked that Yubu kept on losing once they decided to vote you out? Hey, Tim, can you mute, please? Sorry, hi. Um, okay, well, I honestly I wasn't surprised. Sorry. I wasn't surprised. Uh, Tim, can you mute, please? Sorry, continue, sorry. Jose. That always happens to me for some reason. Okay. Um, as I was saying, um, no, I honestly, and I say this in, the, in an 
honest way, I wasn't surprised that you lost the next challenge after I was voted off because it was an I Survivor History challenge. And if anyone knows me, I would have slayed that. I would have destroyed everyone. Um, but no, honestly, but what you said afterwards, I'm not. I'm not surprised Craig and Samantha um, did better, you know, at merge and all that. You know, they're they're good people. They're good players. They know what they're doing. Um, so yeah, I think. Um, I mean, they they did really well as, as far as I'm I'm concerned. Uh, once they, I would say, once they lost the I Survivor trivia challenge, was it kind of like a haha serves you right? Should have voted out Jamie? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Okay. I blame Karma. Billy for that, by the way. Karma is a bitch. Billy. <laughs> I mean, it's okay now. It's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> now, looking back, Jose, do you... I don't know. Let's uh, give a little... Um, everybody else a little insight on, you know, your audition process into this game and everything. Um, Jose, being part of production and a very good close friend of mine, um, and he, could, he fulfilled the role of a fan... I mean, of a favorite as well as an all-star if you were to play an all-star season. So I gave alumni a warning, hey, if you play this season, odds are you probably aren't going to play all-stars three if it's the next season afterward, etc., etc. So I gave Jose the option, like, hey, Jose, I love you, and I'm not giving everybody this option, but would you rather play this season or, you know, an all-stars version? And he chose this season, and now with that whole backstory, Jose, do you regret, you know, getting the opportunity to, you know, being guaranteed shoe-in and your choice of what game you want to play, do you, do you regret choosing, you know, hey, I want to play this one for sure? <laughs> um, no, honestly, I, I, don't, I don't regret it. I think it would have been, it would have probably been the same situation in All-Stars. And I, I think I liked playing the season because I was sort of on my own. I didn't have any actual allies from, you know, from my season. And I got to meet an incredible amount of, of amazing people, um, fans, who maybe, maybe I didn't talk as much with them as, as I had wished, probably because I was bought off really early, <laughs> but, um, but they're an amazing group of people anyway, so, no, I honestly don't regret it, things happen, um, and I'm just, I'm just glad that I, that I got to play it, it's a great experience. Um, awesome, Jose, thank you, it's been a pleasure watching you play and I was really sad to see you go so early you know you have a big fan base people love you so um yeah I'm glad that's over and done with and we can move on but are you excited for Ice Survivor 21? Of course I am <laughs> as much as everyone hopefully. All right I'm looking forward to working side by side with you buddy. Same thing man. <laughs> okay let me take a look at these pictures who else can I talk to? Hey, Dylan. Hello, sir. How's it going? <laughs> I miss you, Dylan. Oh, man, I miss you, too. <laughs> How have you been since your horrible blindside by the Chikara boys? Oh, yeah, that was, that was pretty rough. Um, I've been good, you know. It took me about four or five days to, like, stop crying. But after that, uh, I was good. I've been, I've been doing a lot of homework. I've got a lot more time to do homework. <laughs> yeah, good. Acing those classes, I hope. Joe, yep. how are you feeling? Well, now I could be a little bit more like open about what I know and questions I can ask. You were definitely super close with Nicole. Um, your time in the game. You're right there, Jeffrey. Um, but Dylan, you were pretty close with Nicole, um, throughout your time in the game, and I just want to mention, you guys will probably see some, me mention it and watch videos of me mentioning, mentioning it later, but I actually purposely put Nicole, you and Nicole on a tribe together in hopes that you guys would hit it off, create this great bond, showmance, whatever it may be. So, like, I love the fact that my intentions completely came to fruition. So, thank you very much. I hope I... You're a little matchmaker. I know. I'm like Cupid. Just for the record, my brother is now married for three years to a woman I introduced him to when he was 17 years old, and now he's 25. So, I am actually have a track record of, you know, just making people fall in love. So, 
With that being said, oh, and I also introduced Bridget and Match Tone. Remember that, Karen? Anyway, I'm like a matchmaker. So I'm just not shocked. Just me doing what I do best. Anyway, how is it watching from the sidelines, you know, watching your girl survive round after round? Were you impressed? I was. You know, I, I was a little worried about about her, but I, I knew she could do it. She she kept fighting and you know, she even made up with the people who were who were behind my terrible blind side. So no, she she made me proud. She did good. Was it difficult? Um, okay, I don't think I'm I'm too off base with saying this, but at the start of the game you were definitely like an anchor, like the from a viewer's perspective, like the leader of the Saki tribe. Was it difficult watching the game and watching all these, you know, Saki people either do well or make it further than you and stuff? Um not really. I was I mean I was happy that Saki was doing good. I was hoping that one of them would come out on top at the end. Uh, it was more, it was more painful seeing the, the Jakara boys that turn on me do good, but, you know. <laughs> Any regrets, Dylan? That makes me feel better that their move voting me out was a good move that helped me get farther. Any regrets looking back now, and now that it's been five, six weeks since, you know, all that stuff? Of course there's some regrets. Um... I obviously, I played the game way too hard from the start. Uh, I kind of exposed my relationships with other people that weren't necessarily on my tribe. Um, so there's a few minor things that I changed, but, you know, I just got to play. I've accepted that. It took me a while, but I accepted that. Would you ever play Ice Forever again? Sure. I mean, it would depend on what's going on in my real life because it's definitely very time-consuming. But if my life is open, then for sure I'd love to play again. Heard. Well, thank you, Dylan, for sh for um, applying, playing, coming to the reunion, and you know, watching the season from the sidelines. It's been a pleasure, and you're awesome. And yeah, good luck. Thanks. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> um, let me take a look. Who's next in line? Uh, it looks like Tyler is. Hey. Hey, Tyler. So, how much Tyler. do you how much do you love Sherry Martinez? Honestly, she's an actual bitch to work with Ethan. <laughs> Someone actually agrees with me. Wow. Um. <laughs> I tried messaging her and be like, hey, you know, you know, no hard feelings, and she just, like, tore right into me, and I'm like, girl, like, calm your face, no. <laughs> Now, Tyler, I have, like, a, in, in, a question about, you know, in-game stuff that I guess I couldn't really touch on or didn't get the chance to because your departure came from left field from my perspective, and it was like you were there, and then you weren't, and I really, you know, some sometimes you could see people's, you know, demises coming, so you can, you know ask or prepare about yours, it was just like... I, I can't really hear you, you're breaking up. Hi. Hello? Can you hear me now? Yes. Hi. Okay, so Hi. end game question for you, Tyler. Um, yeah. Did you ever, like, consider possibly, you know, opening yourself up to different alliances as opposed to, like, sticking with straight up the Chikara group right after the shuffle? Because in my eyes, I don't know, had you either came off a little bit more willing or as or showed people that you weren't as super close to them as you might have been in reality, it probably maybe could have saved you from that tie vote. But because you were so perceived to be like 100% leg legit with the Chikaras and there was no swaying you at all that like you were voted out just by association do you regret like either being so close to the chikaras or not entertaining you know other routes i mean i feel like um that's a really hard question i i really like the chikaro die like all of them like i would go to them no matter what anyways but like maybe i did play 
too close to them, and maybe I should have opened up a little bit, but the game's over. There's no regret because there's no point. <laughs> there's no point in regretting stuff that you didn't do. It's a game, and maybe next time I'll do better. Okay. Um, how is I don't it? Be know if that your question. No, it did. It did. Sorry, I was reading something. I like towards the end of what you were saying. But um, how is it being a viewer on um, you know the other side of the, the fence? Um, it sucks. <laughs> I would have really much rather made a little bit further in the game, but um, it was really difficult watching um all the Shatara boys get voted at one by one. It was so difficult. <laughs> But I must say, um, I was not surprised at all by Sammy making finals. I knew if they didn't get her out at all, that she would just dominate the whole game and made it to the end and win. Like, there was no question. Um, now that you mention that, I'll just p mention to everybody else that in the pre-jury chat, like, um, Miss Jamie wasn't on and didn't keep up very often, but every time she signed in, I would, like, she'd have, like, you know, a wall of text just being like, hey, guys, blah, 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 and she'd give her thoughts on the game. And every time I signed in, she was always, Sammy's going to win. Sammy's going to win. They haven't gotten Sammy out yet. Sammy's going to win. So she's been calling you the winner since she got voted out, Sammy. I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, Tyler, anything to say to the final two or to the jury or to the cast or anything before I move on? Well, Aaron's not here. But, uh, like, Aaron, Aaron was one of the people that did save me and my demise. So I just want to thank you for that. And uh, I just want to thank Sammy, too, for taking me out because I probably would have taken you out a little bit later. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, babe. <laughs> okay, let's... No move. for you. Tyler, you're done. Who's next? Aww. Debbie! <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Sorry. Hello. Hey, Debbie. long time no chat. Hey. What's up? Not much. Just kind of hanging out here in South Carolina, you know. <gasps> having a good time. Oh my gosh, you sound so Hi. you sound so much better Hi. than like Hi. the Hi. last Hi. time I spoke I to you. Heard in a while. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, I want to start off by saying Debbie. Yes. I am so happy to have <laughs> met you through this game. <laughs> Crazy, no, man. legit, Debbie. <laughs> I host games like this to find people like you, legit survive, legit survivor fans who like wanna like have an outlet to like let out all this, you know, inner strategy and this like inner survivor player that like you can't let out in your everyday life. Or you know, you're not gonna go play Survivor like while Chris is, you know, doing his nursing stuff. So it's it's nice to you know have an outlet like this and to find somebody like you who's so enthusiastic and enjoyed the game and was just like I don't know yeah. a kid in a candy store to me was like oh look at this little org virgin having so much fun and being so into it <laughs> I having so much fun and yapping away and confessionals going do -de -do -de -do. yeah exactly and that's as a up, host putting that... up my nini my nini and oh like my god, that. yeah, your yeah. Nene Leaks. Once I saw you knew who Nene Leaks was and used the meme of her, I was like, holy crap, this woman is my goddess. She, because I'm obsessed with Nene Leaks. Anyway, um, but I just wanted to let you know thank that I, I completely was a fan. I loved every moment you had in the game. Um, how, albeit it was a rocky roller coaster, for the first half yeah. of the game, Debbie, as a viewer, you were in a great position. You had this four person Kogi alliance with Kelman and with. Sassy and Jeffrey. Then the switch happened. Yeah. And from a view, you, you have to you have to make your choices. Yeah, you do. You gotta you gotta stay point. afloat. And you know, just because you weren't on a tribe with your uh, your original alliance doesn't mean your game is over. So you had to do what you had to do to you know make sure you stayed afloat. With that being said, you exactly. probably out of everybody after the switch didn't make the wisest of choices. Is no. that is that fair to say? It's fair to say. Any regrets looking back <laughs> that you wish you handled that switch a little bit differently? Any one thing around that time of the game that you regret? Well, this is what I was looking at, okay? I came into the game knowing absolutely nothing. And no matter what Sassy might think about about where I was with the, with the gang of four, the final four... Um, I was still, no shock, don't 
anybody freak out, but I was still fully committed to that final four. Yeah, from my from when a, from I, a when viewers. I, when I was in when I was in the five, I was very happy. I love my five. I love the people. I love Cody and Chris and everything. But in the back of my mind, it was always I need to get through this. I need to survive in order to get to the final four with Sassy Kelman and Jeffrey. Okay, before we continue, that, before we continue, uh, let me um, say, mm-hmm. mention a comment. Okay, so after the switch, you're pretty much yes. saying that, you know, you were still committed to this original mm-hmm. final deal that you had. Mm-hmm. And from a viewer's perspective, I kind of saw that, and I saw you as making relations with the Jakara boys and getting a, yeah. into that new, new... Kohi, um, or whatever tribe it was, that new five-person alliance with Kelman and Billy. I saw all that, and whatever yeah. you were telling that side is, you know, kind of telling people what they wanted to hear just to keep your own ass safe, right? Sort of? Is that fair to say? It, it's fair to say, and at the same time, in the, what you didn't hear me say um, was, in the back of my head, I was thinking to myself, I really like Cody and Chris, and if things go badly with Sassy Jeffrey or Kelman, um, so they they could have been I'm, a good I'm, contingency I'm going to plan. Stay with, stay with Cody and Chris, and then we had the whole mutiny thing, and it came down to when I saw the three move over into, you know, what was still Eric, Nicole, blah 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 blah. Uh-huh. In my head, I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on here. And in my head, I'm saying, okay, um, did Robbie, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, move over to make a five with Cody and Chris? Because if that's the case, then I'm screwed anyway. So I've got to move back. Here's my question, over, Debbie. Over with Sassy. Here's my question. Do you think mm-hmm. that no, since you said you were so still loyal to the Kelman Sassy mm-hmm. Jeffrey thing, do you think had you kept on reinforcing this loyalty to them throughout yes. this shuffle and throughout of you having to situate yourself in mm-hmm. a new alliance, do you think if you kept on reinforcing this to the four of them, that even after yes. this mutiny and stuff, you would have fared in a better position? Absolutely. 100% absolutely correct. Um, one of the things that I thought of, I mean, there, were, there was a misunderstanding between Sassy and I because of something that I had told her and told Sammy. Um, and then Billy, Billy turned around and told Sammy the exact opposite. And I was like, no, I was staying true to, true to the five so that, so that everything's covered. And then Billy goes and tells Sammy and all hell breaks loose. Mm -hmm. And that was like the beginning of the end or one of the things that that, just said. That was one of the beginnings of the end, but you're absolutely 100% correct. And I'm going to be very, very quick about this. You are absolutely 100% uh, correct. Just like Boston Rob in Redemption Island, he followed up and he made sure that he knew every single thing that was going on and being said and kept on touching base. And that is something that after the first switch, I did not do with, with Sassy. And I think that it made her nervous. All right. Thank you, Jeffrey. All quickly, right. quickly say your comment. And then before, okay. when so, you're done, when you're done, I'm going to just um, stop, stop the action for a quick, okay. for a quick second. So what I, have to say, what I have to say about this too is like, there's this whole thing where everyone thought that Debbie told the other tribe that Samantha had the idol. And it was like this whole conspiracy that Debbie said this. But come to find out, I hear word that it's from Craig. Craig, first do you want to own up to anything right now, Craig? First, first of all, we heard it was from <laughs> Debbie, and we and we heard it was from Billy. And to come to hear that it might have been Craig this whole time that might have said something to someone <laughs> wait, else, wait, 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 wait. Craig, <laughs> Craig, I want to put him on the spot. Craig, do you want to own up? Is this fact or fiction? <laughs> Did you tell hey, Craig, the opposing you tribe that your number one ally had the idol? <laughs> yes or no? Craig, here, 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 I'm sorry. I, my mic was on mute. <laughs> I did tell Rick that Sammy had the idol. Oh, hey. Uh-huh. <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Debbie got all this flack for her seeming to look like she's not. Well, okay. We'll be right back. Getting, 